Hey team, I'm Colby Fayok. I'm going to show you how to host and deploy your static site to S3 and CloudFront. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about developer tech, make sure you subscribe now so you don't miss out on future updates. AWS's S3 and CloudFront are a powerful combination that makes serving static assets powerful and cheap. Taking that a step further, we can use those tools to host a static site or a full-blown Jamstack app. But first, what's AWS? AWS is a leading cloud provider that has a ton of products from object storage to machine learning. They also offer a lot of guidance like their five pillars of a well-architected infrastructure. They are operational excellence, security, reliability, performance efficiency, and cost optimization. Our recipe of S3 and CloudFront check all those boxes right out of the box. So now that we have a little bit of an idea of AWS, let's dive in. For the purposes of this guide, I'm going to assume you already have an AWS account, but if you don't, make sure you get started there first. I'm also going to use this really simple HTML file I created where it just says hello world and this is my static site. As you can see, if you open up in the browser, Hello world. So the first thing we want to do is navigate to S3. If you're not familiar with S3, you can kind of think of it like a hard drive in the cloud. We can upload our files and we can download them and create a new bucket. We can do that by clicking the create bucket button. Two things to keep in mind when you're creating your bucket. One, the name has to be completely unique. The other thing you want to do is make sure that you set a region that makes sense. So since I'm in Virginia, I'm going to keep it to US East North Virginia. Adding our site name and hitting create. Now it shows up in our list. Now that we have our bucket, let's go ahead and upload our file. And hit upload. Great, now we can see our file show up. But if you try to go to the file and actually access it, you're gonna get access denied. By default, S3 locks down the permissions, so we'll wanna open it up for public access. So the first thing we wanna do is go back to the top level of the bucket, go to the properties tag, and we wanna set it up as a static website. Here, we want to set it as use this bucket to host a website, and we want to set the index document as index.html. Cool. Now we can see that it's saying bucket hosting. So let's go over to the permissions tab. And the first thing we want to do here is open it up to all public assets. So click edit and simply uncheck it and hit save. Then type confirm. and public access settings updated successfully. Once we unblock the public access, we want to actually add a bucket policy. So click bucket policy. And I usually just grab the one from the AWS demo. You can copy and paste it in here. And then you want to make sure you change example bucket to the name of your bucket. So in my case is Colby Fayoff static website and hit save. And now this bucket has public access. I'll include a link to that example in the description so that you can grab that yourself. If you want to know more about this though, what it's basically saying is that we're allowing all public read for getting the bucket objects, which is going to be our static files. So now that we've opened up the bucket, let's head over to properties, go back to static website hosting, and here we find our endpoint. So let's open that up in a new tab. And success! Hello world! Great, so now we have our site hosted on S3, but now we got to put it on CloudFront. So let's go. All right, so now we're going to distribute our site with CloudFront. CloudFront is our CDN, which caches and distributes those files all around the world. The first thing you want to do is navigate over to your CloudFront service, and then we're going to hit Create Distribution, and click Get Started under the Web Delivery Method. Once there, there's a few things we want to enter. So the first thing is our origin domain name. Once you click in, you should be able to start typing out the name of your bucket, which for mine is Colby Fayok Static Website. Select it and then it automatically pops up the origin ID. The other thing here we want to edit is the default root object. So we go down there and simply enter that index.html. You can get pretty advanced with a lot of these settings, but for now we're just going to leave them to the default since we don't really need to necessarily worry about that right now. So let's create the distribution. So once we created our distribution, we'll now see that our status is in progress. It's currently deploying out to the web. This can take upwards of 15 minutes, so we're going to skip ahead. Awesome. So now that we can see that it's deployed, we can head over to the domain name column, copy that domain name, open it in a new tab, and success, we see our hello world. Now the next step would most likely be setting up a custom domain name, but we're not going to do that here. Setting this up can vary depending on your DNS provider, so I dropped a few resources in the description, but hopefully that can get you started. So now if you follow along with me, you've successfully set up a static site that deploys on S3 and CloudFront. If you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe for future updates. Otherwise, thanks for watching.